As a girl, I used to hunt the largest and best flavored berries and dream of a field full of bushes as good. I knew it was a wild dream. J.J. Wade had four daughters. Elizabeth was the oldest. She gave herself over to her pursuit with the blueberries and helping her father and working independently with the cranberry business. That was what everybody called her, Lizzie, Lizzie White. This multi-billion dollar industry would not be, would not be here if it wasn't for Lizzie. You can dream for yourself. Only if you are to share my confidence that this dream is not wild, that someday it will come true, you must know what has already been accomplished. I think she was a pretty strong-willed woman. She had to have been to have succeeded in a time when business and men were synonymous. They came to her because of her work with the blueberries and the cranberries. They knew how, how important it was. And that was the reason J.P. Morgan and the others had told her to concentrate on the Jersey varieties. Coville brought a lot of the technical knowledge of how to grow blueberries, what kind of conditions they needed, and particularly how to propagate blueberries. He was very helpful. She was very determined. Apparently it was a good partnership between them. She was also extremely important in terms of recruiting the local people to go out into the woods and find better blueberry types. She was not a trained horticulturalist, but she was uh, well self-educated in that regard. They needed each other, and while they stuck together, they were a good team. The more we do research on blueberries, the more we're finding out how good they are for you. The new blueberry products coming out now, though, these are still in the experimental stage. There's much more production going on all over the world. She wasn't a quitter. Enough of the puzzle has been fitted together to show that my old dream was but a faint shadowing of the possibilities. Now I dream of cultivated blueberries shipped by the train load, blueberry specials, to every part of the country. We wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Lizzie. Uh, it's just that simple. I loved her. <laughs> right off the bat. Right off the bat.